What the fuck is going on, guys? Sawchasm here, and I'm back. I'm back. A lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, Saw, why haven't you been posting videos? Did you go to 7-Eleven to get milk, and you never came back because the, the line was too long, like my dad did? I'm sorry about your dad, first of all, but no, that's not what happened. That's not why I haven't been posting videos. I'm going to explain in this video why the reason was and the future of my channel like where i plan to take this channel and the direction i want to head this rodeo this time around but uh let's get right right to business no shenanigans no none of that bullshit so uh real quick this is a imr dna bomb it's decent uh there was the enemy team honestly I felt like I was playing combat training bots, so this isn't too ridiculous of a gameplay. Pretty much anyone could have gotten this, but yeah, it's just some eye candy, something flashy to watch in the meanwhile. So, let's get right to business. Last year or so, last year and a half, the summer of Black Ops 2, I was completely burnt out on Call of Duty. You know, I've been playing since Call of Duty 4, I think I was like 14 at the time, and when that came out, and so I've been playing Call of Duty for like six or seven years something like that and i would play when i was like 14 15 16 i would play like eight hours a day all day every day so i've gotten my fair share of call of duty in and when i started posting videos on youtube i started playing a lot more again as well this was back in like modern warfare 3 and i did enjoy it don't get me wrong like i really really enjoyed it that's why i did it but I wanted to play Call of Duty like every waking moment of my life. I was literally addicted. I was literally a drug addict for Call of Duty. Because I think they put some kind of drug. You, you guys don't know this. But uh, I was talking to one of the Call of Duty developers. And he said that they inject marijuanas into the game. So it's more addicting for you. So I guess that's... that's I don't know, I got struck by the addiction, and that's what happened to me, so that's why I wanted to play so much. So yeah, I just played so much Call of Duty that towards the middle of Black Ops 2, I just got a little burnt out. No, not a little burnt out. I got very burnt out. I was, I was full out, just burnt out, done with the game, like so bored. Like, I couldn't stand to play more than 30 minutes at a time for each week. So... You know, to post videos on YouTube, I would obviously have to play. And I don't, I'm not the type of person to like force myself to do something that I don't enjoy. I mean, this is, was never a job for me, so it's not like I needed to do it. But um, I couldn't force myself to make YouTube videos if I wasn't interested in the game. So I, I just, I'm not that type of person, so I wouldn't do that. But uh, I decided to take some time off. From Call of Duty and all that I was posting a lot less videos I was posting like once a week and uh, I started going out more I got a job and I got a girlfriend and I was just becoming more social I was 18 you know it's just normal 18 everyday shenanigans nothing out of the normal so but then I I you know I kind of got bored of the partying and all that and all that that stuff I'm not really like too much of a now, I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm not really a super social person. I don't love going out to parties all the time. Like, it was cool to experience, and I'll still go once in a while, but it's, like, not my scene, you know? So, um, there's that, and I decided that I want to look for, like, my life purpose. I know it sounds, like, so, ooh, like, like hippie-ish, like, you, what's your purpose in life? But I just experimented with a bunch of things, not drugs, and I found out that I really liked making music and hip-hop beats and stuff. So I was focusing on that really, really hard for a good nine months, almost a whole year. And uh, so I was going really, really hard with that. Like, I'm talking every day, eight hours a day at least. And on top of that, school, I go to, a, a, I go to school for uh, audio engineering now. So that... You know, on top of actually making the beats, when I get home all day, I was pretty much spending every single waking moment of my life just working on the music. And it turns out I was having some ear problems, so I went to a ears, nose, and throat doctor, and he told me I have some pretty bad hearing loss. And there's also like a, a I don't want to get too depressing, but uh, I have this thing. It's not like a disease or anything. It's like uh, 
I don't know what to call it. I don't want to make it sound worse than it is because I know there's people who have like way worse things in life and it's in the grand scheme of things is not terrible. But I have tinnitus, which is basically like a really high pitch ringing in your ear that you get when your hearing is damaged most likely and uh, it never goes off. So I always have a high pitch like ping in my ear. I don't really want to like if you want to find out more about it and you want to hear what it actually sounds like, you can just Google it, like, tinnitus sounds, and you can hear what it sounds like. It's just really annoying. It doesn't actually hurt me or anything. It doesn't stop me from doing anything. But when I first had it for, like, a good three months, I was pretty... I don't want to say depressed, because, once again, there's people who have just so much worse, like, stuff going on in their lives that I feel almost pathetic feeling like that but I was really down and um, it took me a while to get to a point where I am now where I'm like at least comfortable and I don't want to just sleep all day like I'm, I'm I can deal with it so yeah but regardless I had a lot of hearing loss and stuff and if I kept going the way I was going with the music probably by the time I was 30 I would be almost completely deaf and that's obviously not something I want you know I, I value my hearing and considering everything considering I love music and all that I really really value my hearing so I have to slow down I love I, I live in New York so I love when hearing people in the street honk their horns at me really loud and saying get the fuck out of the way and stuff like that like I just love it that's it's very comforting and soothing to me so I, I just love hearing and you know I like my hearing so there's that I really really need to slow down in the music stuff so I decided to pick up Call of Duty Advanced Warfare um, I, I told myself when Ghost came out I would try it and if I enjoyed it I would post videos on it but I played it and to me it was a snooze fest I don't know about you guys I, I, I'm hearing a lot of people feel the same way but uh, to me it was just not fun at all like I played it for like a week and I just I already knew as I was playing it I'm like this I can't take this uh, it might also be because I was still burnt out on Call of Duty at that time and I just haven't uh, taken a long enough break then but now that I took like literally a year of no playing Call of Duty, I barely played throughout Call of Duty Ghost, I decided to get Advanced Warfare and make the same decision that if I enjoyed it, I would post YouTube videos again and I love this game. It's not the perfect Call of Duty and to be honest, I don't think there ever will be a perfect Call of Duty because Call of Duty is a game where you can die really quick. You could die in an instant you know especially even from someone who is not as good as you so they could just spray their gun and if you're not looking in that direction which is very possible they could just kill you in two three bullets very easy they don't need to have the best aim or anything like that so they don't necessarily need to outskill you to kill you that's why oh whoa that was a good rhyme that was awesome I didn't even plan that I swear I didn't plan that so yeah people could kill you without even without being better than you basically so I feel like to some people that's always gonna hold the game back a little bit but that's just the nature of the game that's also why what makes it so fun that you could kill it so fast uh, to some people that's also part of why I like it so much and uh, yeah, so it's not ever going to be a perfect game, but I do really enjoy Advanced Warfare. It's very fresh with the exosuits and stuff, so I decided I'm going to start posting videos again. Now, uh, I this video, I ran out of time a lot sooner than I expected, so I'll go into my the future of my channel in the next video or a couple videos from now, but yeah, just expect a little bit more artsy stuff, a little more creative, like editing and stuff like that, as opposed to strictly gameplay commentaries, which is, to me, getting a little bit played out just the the plain old call of duty 4 gameplay commentaries like we've heard that before since call of duty 4 okay so i want to try to push the boundaries of the cod youtube genre a little bit and uh just see where i could take it so anyway guys i thank you all for supporting me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys look forward to my content in the future and like you have in the past you've always supported me and i do truly appreciate it thank you for those who've stuck around but if you did hate this video be sure to dislike it and unsubscribe you hating ass bitch